Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, it's Play Halal. So this is our first tutorial and this is a part of a bigger series and this series will be called Let's Make a Racing Game from Scratch. Uh, so this will be the part one of the tutorial series and this will be free on YouTube. You guys uh, follow along and subscribe. In this tutorial we will focus on AI cars. With the vehicle pack we already have a vehicle system and the vehicle system has a movement component which is called vehicle movement component and we can use it to um, pretty much do everything a real life car can we will use this in our ai so that the ai cars uh, can also use throttling steering and braking in order to follow along the road and do uh, all the movements that a real car can so uh, at the end of the video we will have something like this So let's get started. Open Unreal Engine 5 then we pick games. On the games we have vehicle pack. Let's select it and keep everything the same. Then let's call the project car racing. And then we make we ch change the location. Let's change the location. Project yeah, let's select this folder and let's click now it will compile but if we look around and see the layout we have a different layout than what you usually have on Unreal Engine 5 right? when the window then lay loadout then we will select EV4 classic layout so this is how I got this layout and we have our level and if you look around actually if you look around we don't see much and we need to find a car especially if we play hit play we suddenly have a car preparing shaders okay as you can see this car we need this car because this car pretty much can do anything like acceleration like steering braking and stuff like that so it is quite useful and we need this function in our AI class as well today we are making car AI why because we already have a player uh, car so we need someone to compete against so why not make AI so we need to find the car first the player car so the player car is located in vehicle blueprint and then sports car and this is called sports car pawn so this is the player class and we'll create a child blueprint class why because we can't actually use the player class so sports car pawn will be our base class and the child class I'll call it AI car so this will be called AI car and let's before we work on AI car we need to first open up sports car pawn this is the base let's open it up I think I have a lot of things on the background so slowing down hopefully it will open otherwise I'll have to re-record this okay this is the first time so it's taking way too long so we what we have here is bunch of things like vehicle movement component so this is crucial for our AI because this vehicle movement component has everything you need uh, and it has chaos vehicle system and especially we need this set throttle input and this set steering input so this is these are in keyboard input and we don't need this because we are creating AI so we'll be taking acceleration and steering stuff the acceleration is called throttle let's just copy it control C on keyboard and then come here and control B and now we have this function so actually you can call this function anytime inside our child blueprint class and uh, like uh, bring out the component then set steering you can actually do that uh, but 
I think we'll make it even more easier so what we do here is we just create custom event so let's create custom event and let's call them inside child blueprint class so let's search custom event custom event and we have add custom event let's just rename it to acceleration because this is called throttle so acceleration is the same thing so we'll simplify the name and call it acceleration then drag the throttle float and just underneath this and when you see the indicator of correct symbol uh, you release the mouse button and we have throttle so we'll be feeding throttle value so this is why we created this input throttle so same thing in here we'll create custom event custom event and here we'll name it to steer because it is steering function and we need the steering value as well so we'll drag click and drag and it will show the indicator and you release the mouse button and now we have steering uh, steering input now that we have our pretty much uh, function of steering and acceleration let's go to our AI car so on the AI car we will see on event graph that something has changed and we no longer have all those things that we had before but we still can call all the functions and variable inside the base class so base class is called parent class so if you click on parents okay this should be working but not here right now so let's just call our function we made earlier like acceleration and we have acceleration and if you double click on it we suddenly in the base class and base class is called sports car on so we'll just comment and press C to comment of course AI movement okay AI movement sounds way better so this is our AI movement now we need to see if we change the value throttle to 1 and if we drag our AI cars in the road okay this is our player start so the AI should be starting from here we will make bunch of this instance and let's see how it goes so we put throttle to one so it's going really fast and it is way off the limit and they crashed and that's what happens when you drive too fast so be safe don't push your limit so we will just give it a fair amount of speed let's say we'll give it really really small amount like zero zero one let's see how it goes as you can see nothing is moving okay let's just change things let's give it 0.5 hopefully it will move yeah it actually works so 0.5 is a decent speed but the problem is we will need a speed limiter because we are accelerating at a unprecedented amount and we need a speed limiter so that if we go above some sort of speed we actually uh, turn off the acceleration so we what we need is a select select so select float will allow us to select between 0 and 1 so if we are uh, under the limit we'll go to acceleration 1 and if we over the limit we'll go to 0 acceleration so how do we achieve that we actually need a boolean boolean is like a button uh, with true and false value we can actually control that so let's say we drag the vehicle movement component what we need is the speed of the car so get forward speed get forward speed so we have forward speed but how do we define forward speed because it has to be counted in kilo, uh, kilometers so we don't know how to uh, count it as kilometer then just multiply uh, multiply this value multiply by 0 0.036 so this will convert this forward speed to kilometer per hour so in short came kmh so this value will be kmh and if it is over 50 if okay less is way better let's just let's do this 
uh, if it is less than 50 km per hour we will select uh, the acceleration of 1 and if it is greater than 50 then we will have a acceleration of 0 so the, this explains and so this will be a macro let's just com convert it to macro uh, collapse function to macro so why have we made this to a macro because I think in the future we might need this uh, need this function and it is way more simple to just drag and drop these things so but we will be exposing something here exposing the uh, speed I guess speed limit so this will be named as speed limit so this will be the speed limit and if we go here and if we define it to 50 it will fi be 50 so let's just test it out how it works so now I can now as you can see the speed actually keeping it under 50 km per hour so they are not going way too crazy so as you can see the deflection is quite weak so if we change the speed limit to something like 20 we have even more slower it is as you can see it is even slower than before it's just like a baby step taking baby step okay so this is way too less for us so we'll keep it to 50 50 is pretty much decent amount but in the future we'll make the speed system even more dynamic and we also need to give it a return so otherwise we actually can't uh, work we need actually exact to uh, do the next thing that is uh, target location so what we have here is a macro let's just rename it to like speed limiter limiter now that we have our speed limiter we need actually the target location because the car doesn't know where to go it's just going forward and then crashing onto wall unfortunately we had to stop the tutorial right here and on the next episode we'll continue with our target location and then we'll give a spline actor and which will give us the destination and the car will follow that destination and until then please comment share and subscribe and also follow me on twitter and yeah, that's it.